Given 0.1 molar solutions of sodium 3PO4 and H3PO4, describe the preparation of 1 liter of a phosphate buffer at pH 7.5. What are the molar concentrations of the ions in the final buffer solution, including sodium and protons? Let's begin. The dissociation profile of phosphoric acid is shown here. We will call the triply protonated form H3A the singly deprotonated form H2A-, the doubly deprotonated form HA2-, and the fully deprotonated form A3-. The pKa values of 2.15, 7.2, and 12.4 are shown. In any problem with weak acids and bases, it can be helpful to draw the titration curve to gain a sense of where you are. The titration curve for phosphoric acid looks like this. There are three equivalence points, at x-axis values of 1, 2, and 3. Note that the H3A form predominates at 0 on the x-axis, that H2A- minus predominates at 1 on the x-axis, that HA2- minus predominates at 2 on the x-axis, and that A3- minus predominates at 3 on the x-axis. As already noted, the H3A form predominates on the far left of the plot, and the A3- form predominates on the far right. Thus, a solution at zero on the x-axis with no base added is the same as one of the two solutions provided in this problem, that is, 0.1 molar H3A. Similarly, a solution at 3.0 on the x-axis is the same as the other of the provided solutions, that is, 0.1 molar A3-. Then it should be apparent that a solution in the middle of the titration curve, where pH equals 7.2, the second pKa, could be prepared by mixing equal volumes of the two starting solutions. Clearly then, solutions to the right of the midpoint consist of more A3-, and solutions to the left of the midpoint consist of more H3A. Understanding this point will be important as we solve this problem. Let's examine this titration curve with the present problem in mind. The desired pH of 7.5 is shown here. We will show that this point lies at 1.67 equivalents of base added on the x-axis. How do we know that? Write the appropriate Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. pH equals pKa plus log to the base 10 of the concentration of HA2- minus over the concentration of H2A-. Insert the pH and pKa and subtract, and we have this equation. Now we simply note that the antilog of 0 0.3 is 2. That is, the log to the base 10 of 2 is 0 0.301, or approximately 0 0.3. So the ratio of the HA2- concentration to the H2A- concentration is 2, and we can write this as 2 over 1. That is, 2 parts of HA2- to 1 part of H2A-, which is a total of 3 parts. So we can write 2 thirds over 1 third equals this concentration ratio. Now the sum of H2A- and HA2- must be equal to 0 0.1 molar. So we know that the concentration of HA2- must be 0 0.067 molar, and the concentration of H2A- must be 0 0.033 molar. Going back to our titration curve, we now see readily that our pH of 7.5 really does lie at 1.67 on the x-axis. That is, the point where pH equals 7.5 is to the right of the first equivalence point, at 1.0 on the x-axis, and also we are two-thirds of the way through the second titration at pH 7.5, with just one-third of this second titration to go. From that second equivalence point, a complete titration would also have to traverse the titration of the third proton, converting HA2- to A3-. That is, at pH 7.5, we are 1.67 of the way through the three equivalents titration, with 1.33 of the titration left to go. That is to say, we are 1.67 over 3 
of the way through the titration, with 1.33 over 3 to go. This would correspond to combining 1.67 over 3 times 1 liter equals 555 milliliters of 0.1 molar sodium 3 PO4 with 1.33 over 3 times 1 liter equals 444 milliliters of 0.1 molar H3 PO4. So one liter of this buffer can be prepared by mixing 555 milliliters of 0.1 molar Na3 PO4 and 444 milliliters of 0.1 molar H3PO4 to make the desired buffer.